What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So in this video, I'm going to talk about five of my most important navigation tips in SketchUp. So these five tips are tips that are really important for helping you move around your SketchUp models quickly. So a lot of people know about uh, maybe like one or two of these, but then they don't necessarily use all of them. You really ought to be using all of them when you're navigating your SketchUp models. Um, today's video is brought to you by the SketchUp Essentials course. That's the start to finish SketchUp course that I created to really give you a full training in SketchUp. So if you want more great tips like these, make sure you check out the course at thesketchupessentials.com slash course. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so let's start off with model credit. Uh, model credit for this model is the LA House by SZ Kristoff. You can find that in the 3D warehouse. All right, so tip number one is by far the most important navigation tip, and it actually has to do with the hardware that you're using on on your computer and this is something that SketchUp stresses every time they do a training or when you go to base camp or anything like that they always tell you to bring a three button mouse and so tip number one is to use a three button mouse and basically that's a mouse that has a scroll wheel on it so it has the two buttons on the left and the right and then it has a wheel in the middle and the reason that's so important is because really because of two things maybe three so the first thing is you can orbit in your model by clicking and holding the center mouse button. And this is super important. And then the number of times that I see people in videos navigating around their model by taking their mouse, moving it up here, clicking on the orbit button, and then single clicking and dragging around. It just takes so much extra time where if you just single or hold down the middle mouse button, you can orbit wherever you want in your model. And in addition to that, you can also zoom in. So without having to select the zoom tool or anything like that. So a lot of people know about this one, but this is super important. Please use a three button mouse um, when you're navigating around your models. So tip number two is one that I think fewer people have really navigate or uh, incorporated into their workflow, and that is when you have the middle mouse button held down, hold the shift key, and you can pan. And so you can see how all I'm doing is I'm holding the middle mouse button down and I'm holding the shift key down. And so this gets really valuable because you can move up and down really quickly. You can fly around in this model. And then when you need to do your fine adjustment, you can hold that shift key to pan across. So don't go up and click on the pan button and then single click and drag to pan your view. Use the middle mouse button and hold the shift key down in order to move this up and down quickly. So tip three has to do with when you get in tighter spaces. And when you get inside interior tighter spaces, you want to use the first person camera tools. And so you can find those in your large tool set. And if you don't have the large tool set, you can go to view, toolbars, and you just want to check the box for large tool set. Or alternatively, you can just right click in here and check large tool set. But those are all going to be contained over here. Those contain some really important tools. And so the one I'm talking about in this case is the position camera tool. And the reason that one's so important is because you can try to zoom into a space and get a view that you want using the zoom and orbit tools. And you can see how it gets really frustrating because orbiting inside the building doesn't really work. You start getting inside of walls and it's just really frustrating. Where on the other hand, let's say that I wanted to have a view from this point looking at this wall. I could just single click on the position camera tool and then I could click on this point and drag and you can actually set not only where your camera is, but also what it's looking at. And so now if I hold the shift key and I single click and drag my, uh, my middle mouse button, you can see how I can change this height really quickly. And so you can use that to really quickly set where your camera is. And the nice thing about that is that automatically once you set your camera, drops you into look around mode. So instead of using the orbit tool, which moves your camera around, this basically changes the direction your camera is looking based on a fixed point. And so this makes it really easy to set different interior views inside your model. So tip four is setting your field of view using the zoom tool. So a lot of you may have noticed that sometimes when you get inside a space like this one in your SketchUp model, you don't necessarily get the full view that you want. That's because your camera field of view is set too narrow. So you can see how I can't really get this whole living room in my camera view right now. That's because the camera field of view or the amount of space that your camera sees is set really low. Well, you can adjust that 
using the zoom tool. So if you click on the zoom tool and then look down in the lower right hand corner, it gives you a little thing that says field of view and it says the number of degrees. Well, if you hold the shift key and then left click and drag, you can adjust your camera field of view so that more shows up inside your camera view. And so you can see how this, this allows me to get a lot more in this space. And so another great example is if I was to go into, like there's an upstairs bathroom right here. And you can see how you can't really get a very good view of the upstairs bathroom because your camera view is very narrow. Well, if you single click on this and then you hold the shift key and you drag it back, you can see how you can get a much bigger view of this bathroom using that tool. And one thing to note about that is you don't want to set like an ultra high field of view because what happens is you start getting distortion in your camera. So you want to keep this as low as possible to get the view that you want, but without distortion, but high enough that you can get what you need inside your shot. And then the last tip that's also really important is save your camera views. So let's say for example that I wanted to save this view of this bathroom or if I wanted to keep coming back to it over and over again. If I was to do that just by navigating back to it, that would take a significant amount of time. When I've already set up my field of view, I've already set my camera location, it's a lot easier just to go up to view animation and click add scene and that'll add a scene now no matter where I go no matter where I navigate to in my model if I get lost in my walls whatever if I click on the scene tab I can go back to that scene and so you can set this for all the important scenes in your model so you can have like an overall view you can have a mo a view of your living room, you can have a view of this restroom, so you can set everything up so you can navigate back to those without having to recreate the wheel every single time. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. Are there any tips I left off this list? What are your favorite navigation tips in SketchUp? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.